Prompt 207 made marijuana legal in Arizona, but what you might not realize, Jamie, the new law also made it legal for people to grow marijuana at home. And now a Tempe company says it can help you do that in your own backyard. Jess is live with them now with what they call the Outdoor Grow <coughs> Hut. Jess, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Prompt 207 has made it possible for a household to grow six marijuana plants per person or 12 per two people, right? So let me show you what this Tempe-based company did right here. They created this greenhouse. It's what it looks like a small greenhouse. Dante, this is really incredible. Talk to me about what you created. This is your brainchild and your whole team. Sure, sure. Yeah, we, it's an outdoor grow hut. So it's not a greenhouse because it doesn't have a plastic cover. Okay. And it's not fully enclosed with the plastic. So it's actually open top. And then the walls here are shade cloth panels so that we can get maximum sun exposure. And that's really, you know, the heart of the design is, is getting max sun exposure to these plants outdoor. Now, indoor growing is available and a lot of people do that. So what is the benefit to growing outside? Benefits to growing outside are, you know, there's no overhead with electricity. You don't have to purchase expensive lights, humidifiers, air conditioners. You know, there's all kinds of equipment, grow trays, you know, everything. So growing outside is uh, less expensive overhead. Also, the plants can get maximum size out here. You know, they can keep on continue to grow with the sun. Now your company, Marijuana Home Gardens, they have a special and unique service that you provide. Correct, we will come out every week and provide all the nutrients, all the amendments, cropping, topping, servicing of the plants, and anything that's needed. And as the weeks go on, we'll continue to stick with the plants and make sure that they're doing the right thing. Are marijuana plants temperamental? Are they easy to grow? Is it difficult? So it is easy to grow once it starts getting going. You know, if you stick to your feeding schedule, I would say in the very beginning stages, the seedling stage, the germination stage, and the uh, just the beginning, I'd say 30 to 45 days of the plant, you really got to be careful and make sure that you tend the plants, kind of like you watch a child or infant or toddler. And do you find that with Prop 207 that your industry and your business is being met with, you know, more welcoming or is it still pretty controversial? What do you think? Well, I mean, in, in, in this state, Arizona, I think we had an overwhelming exp uh, response from, you know, all the Arizona um, all of Arizona with the Prop 207 law passing, I mean, there was an overwhelming vote to uh, get it to pass, so everybody in Arizona wants to grow. Now, um, how much is one of these? <laughs> this is an 8x12 structure, so okay. we have an 8x8 and we have an 8x12. The 8x12 structure, as you see right here, holds 12 plants. It's 20-gallon pots, so these aren't 5-gallon pots like an indoor grow tent. This is uh, outdoor, and th these pots are bigger, so all the soil the delivery, the assembly, everything included for this particular kit's around three grand. Uh, it's actually two, $29.99. Okay. And then the 8x12, I'm sorry, the 8x8 structure is $19.99. Well, thank you so much. This is really interesting and a lot of changes even still evolving. So we spoke with an attorney earlier. He um, specializes in marijuana law and he had three key pieces of advice to give people at home. My, my advice is to be mindful of the restrictions in Prop 207. The first of those is you can only grow six plants per person or 12 plants per household. The second is the cultivation that needs to incur, occur in an enclosed, secured environment that children cannot access. And the third is that it needs to remain hidden from public view. And hidden from public view, he says, means that even a neighbor from an upstairs window should not be able to see inside your hut, which is so important that they have one of these up here. Guys, we'll send it back to you. A lot of changes still and probably a lot, of more, a lot more evolution with this proposition and others possibly to come. Yep, I think you're right. We're going to be watching it change and then bopping and weave along with it. Thank you, Jess.